As Chairman Xi consolidates his power, the threat level from China is rising. How is Biden cracking down? And most importantly, of course, what will it mean for TikTok? Don't take away my TikTok. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. In China this week, Chairman Xi Jinping secured a third term, defying the norm that had limited previous leaders to just two. You said you weren't a dictator! I lied. He did so in the fashion of a reality TV drama queen, embarrassing his predecessor Hu Jintao by having the 79-year-old get escorted out of the Communist Party Congress, as if he had just lost a surprise vote during the tribal council. The tribe has spoken. That's not fair! Come on! This is just the latest deliberate move to centralize control and ramp up the warrior wolf style diplomacy that she has implemented in recent years. Today, Xi Jinping is effectively unchallenged, making him more powerful than any Chinese leader since Mao. He was also a womanizer. Boy, that escalated quickly. I just finished The Economist podcast, The Prince, which covers the life of Chairman Xi. I recommend it because the more you learn about his trajectory, the clearer it is that he's taking China down a more aggressive and fascist path in the years to come. Great, 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 great. With more violent crackdowns on protests in Hong Kong and elsewhere, the not-so-vague threats to invade Taiwan, speech controls on social media, and ongoing Uyghur repression. The Winnie the Pooh president has officially entered full sicko mode. Those are massive red flags, bro. The Biden administration sees this clearly and has been more hawkish on China than many expected. U.S. forces would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. Yes. Public perception is that it was Trump who was tougher on China, 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 China. China. I guess because he was willing to say racist shit like this. Kung flu. Knock it off. But get this. Biden has maintained all the Trump era tariffs, which as a free market zealot, I don't really love. While adding a bunch of new measures on top of it, he passed a China competitiveness bill that funds manufacturing of high-tech chips here in America. Chips, 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 chips. He banned Americans from investing in companies that fund China's surveillance and military activities. He put limits on U.S. companies' ability to sell equipment that would help China expand their technological capabilities. All good ideas. And this week, the administration announced charges against 13 Chinese spies that were trying to influence our judicial system. These cases were part of a broader effort by China to interfere with the United States. You call that human rights, China? I call it human wrongs. And we haven't even got to our TikTok conundrum. As you all know, the Chinese app is pretty central to our lives and culture. National security experts around both Trump and Biden had advised that those administrations either crack down or ban TikTok altogether. We may be banning TikTok. The first war fought on TikTok, which is tough for me because I'm the landline of presidents. How does this even work? Right now, the Biden administration is negotiating with TikTok executives on a deal that would prevent the company from sharing data with the Chinese government. They do that, don't they? And while that's an important step, what might actually bring the situation to a head is the TikTok algorithm. I asked my friend Chris Krebs, the former Trump cybersecurity expert who got crossways with the president over his election lies, what he sees as the biggest threat. Chinese Communist Party can control what you see, see where you are, see what's on your phone. I'm most concerned about controlling and shaping content. People are watching us? All day long, baby. Hugh reported that more and more Americans are getting their news on TikTok. Uh, I'm right over here on Snapchat. Tell your friends. And this is where the rubber meets the road. Small tweaks to the For You page to promote conspiracies or issues that divide Americans or pro-China propaganda could have a massive influence on our national discourse and politics. Oh, that's oh, terrifying. Given how fragile shit is in our politics right now, are we sure we want to give the Chinese communists that much power? No, man. Shit, no, man. I suspect not. And that's why my guess is, sooner rather than later, TikTok could end up on the chopping block of our growing Cold War. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. The election's less than two weeks away. Make a plan to vote, and we'll see you next week for a Not My Party election preview and predictions. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, Smash that subscribe button.